Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. Uh, a follower, or meanwhile a friend of mine, uh, sent me this picture here and asked if I can show how to make uh, such a, a wire brush here. And maybe this wood stand here, we'll see how far we come. So yeah, why not? Let's make this. I think it's not so hard. It's, it's more the texturing here, what will be a little harder. But let's see what we can do. Okay, let's start with uh, let's, uh, a cube. Let's take a cube, so down, down. The cube is about da, 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 da. let's see here twenty sixty, okay. Some subdivisions here one here and this should be okay then we convert this so I, I use my edit optimize script here okay if you don't have the script uh, you will find everything in the description of the video you will find every link everything you need and yeah and, and if you don't know what this uh, uh, script does please watch one of my earlier tutorials i uh, the, the first, uh, I think the first 50 tutorials, I explain it every time. <laughs> okay, so please watch these tutorials if you don't know what it does. Okay, so now I'll go in point mode and select these points. T for scale and scale it a little together. Okay. The next thing, I want uh, more subdivisions because we for sure play with... Uh, subdivisions in uh, with, with the displacement displacement with sub displacement and so we take one more subdivision so i click right click here so i go in polygon mode first and right click and go to subdivide and just click once and so we have one subdivision edit and this is okay then uh, i select the top polygons here so i do it with un for phone selection so click on it then i for inner extrude and extrude it in a something like this and with the selection i go to simulate hair objects at hair whoop the hair is a little too long so i go to the guides and say the half should be enough yes then I don't need more than two segments then what we do need what do we need now hair roots here as guides so we have uh, as many hairs as guides so here is guides and I don't need dynamic so okay but I don't want the one hair each uh, vertex here so i go to the guides and say not vertex i want to polygon area and uh, sometimes uh, most of the times it does not update so go to editing here and reroute so this is not enough so let's try it with 500 here Okay, that's better. Maybe we take more a little later. Okay, so then we want to make some wire things here out there. So I go to generate, and here I go to circle. And we see something like this here. We have here a circle, that's okay, but on the top not. And we can affect the, the thickness of the hair, we, we uh, can affect over the hair material. So we double click the hair material, go to thickness, and here is, we have one, this is here, and here we have point 0.1, this is the tip here. So I want it 1.1, one, one. and now we get something like this here. Okay, and I want to close it on this side, so I go to my hair generator advanced and here the end cap 
Okay. The phone is okay here. We could go down with the phone, but. Uh, oh, this phone. We could give, give some phone, but it looks then like this. So it can look round or so. Why not? So that's. Let's give it here something like 80. Again, the wrong one? No. Oh, well, yeah. No angle limit, and that's it. Okay, now we have this hair thing, but I, this looks too too nice, too, too, too straight and too unused. So let's go to the hair material. And the first what I want, I don't want every hair in the same length. So I go to the length and we see now, let's go out here. We see we have uh, variations in the length to 20%. This is okay, I'll make 10% maybe. Yeah, that's better. Then I want some clumps so that that some stays together. So clump is here. Yep. Fifty percent clump. Radius forty is okay. Uh, I want that it looks really a little used. So. And we know as the dry, old wire brushes, they are not straight ahead. But this is maybe too much. But go here to 30. Does nothing, is okay. Why not? Okay, and now a little doo -doo 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 kink. <laughs> little kink, I said. See, so 10%. Too much, 5%. Too much, 2%. This is why I said I need two segments. So we have, if you take more segments, you get it a little rounder this whole thing so let's go to the guides and give it three uh, let's say three segments is okay here okay that looks nice used maybe more here so okay, let's go to let's try a thousand and now we see the clump nice so that it's the have some islands where they come together. Okay, <laughs> but this one here, I don't know if I like this. And of course, they are intersecting for sure some, but you won't see it. So this, but let's see that this, this one here. Get rid of this. So I go to the hair to advanced and here advanced and yeah the seat here try to see it uh, of course it does not update but I just take another uh, number here go to go to guides and reroute yes and now it's it's better okay <laughs> good here is done so what I want here is a little bare because when I put this in a subdivision surface and I want to put it in the subdivision, it's, it's a little too round. And so I have uh, in more subdivisions for my later for my texturing. So what can we do here is simple. We go to the cube, deformers and hold your shift key with the cube selected and go to the bevel deformer. We have this bevel here. We want a solid bevel and go up here. Something like this. And then I want the topology, I want uniform. And this is my bevel, how it looks it now. This looks better, for me at least. Oh, 
one. We have here different barrel because uh, of this inner extrusion made here and, and other uh, other segments, other uh, geometry is here as you see. Uh, we can change this if you want, but uh, this this will you won't see this because with the texture later with with uh, displacement and everything we won't see this. But we could uh, cut here from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, dissolve these three uh, uh, edges, and then we have the same like here. So, but don't need it. This is, will be an old one, and it will be a used one, and it's okay. So. So deactivate the barrel for the moment. Now I go to my cube here. This a T for scale, and I want something like a little more cubic so, or, or exact cubic. So I, I want to know the height of this selection here. The, we have the height here. Size the Y size is twenty. So I go with the set to twenty two. Now I have exactly what here. I go, uh, all sides are the same length. Okay, then I select everything. Oopsie. And control on the keyboard and drag it out a little bit. Like this. Then I select just this control drag again. A little bit here. And another, something like this. T for scale and scale it up a little bit. Okay, let's see what we get now. It looks good. Maybe we give. To here and we see. again E for the move tool and control drag it down a little bit make it a little like this <coughs> sorry and now we get this okay i like it let's see the picture here we have some this is very small picture he sent me here we have some metal uh, ring or something else so let's make this one so yeah, for this we simply take a cylinder Cylinder to root plus X to the side view and make it of course smaller, uh, not so high. Okay, good. Then the radius down. Well, let's go here to five with the radius down. Should be okay. Let's say we just twenty. Ah, that's too much. Leave it eighteen or nineteen, <laughs> and uh, go to the caps and make some fillet cap radius. One should work here. Uh, less okay, sharper ring. So and here three is enough. We will use here for the rusted metal a little uh, displacement maybe. So go to the height segment one and rotation segments is okay here. 36 and cap segments here I want something like that. Okay. You will don't see the. Uh, normally, I would make here a bevel or something else and make quads and and and, and, uh, and close it with quads, but we won't see this, so it doesn't matter. Don't model what you don't see. That <laughs> the next is the handle here. We need. Let's make again a cylinder. Of course, if you want to practice, then of course model even what you don't see. But when you have a job or something else, 
Well, maybe when you when it's a page job with our page, so model everything. <laughs> Go to here and uh, radius down a little bit, and I don't need as many segments here. I need uh, eight is more than enough. Make it like this. Okay. Then I make this editable. So let's say this is the handle. Also, and this is the metal ring, ring, handle. This is the oh, plate or whatever. Okay. Well, let's save this. Save as brush. Oh, what's this? <laughs> uh, have it here, brush. Brush, oh, this brush stroke. This will be another tutorial. Okay. Now I delete one point here. So go to my handle and first make it editable. So I take again the edit optimize script, point mode and delete this point. Then UL for loop selection and select in edge modes like this one. Now we go in the side view, E for the move tool and control drag this down a little bit. Now we don't uh, hit control, so because we just want to uh, change the uh, length of this, so we don't want to extrude. The control is just to extrude. So. Then uh, go T for scale, and scale it a little down. Let's say to 50%. E, and now the control key again, we want to extrude, and you see we have a new edge now. Somewhere like here. T for extrude again. Up, so E control track. Then T again to scale it down, something like this. And we should have a handle. It's a little too long, but it doesn't matter. This, this we can make later. Let's see how this looks in the subdivision surface. We put it to the. I'll give it an own subdivision surface. Okay. Go to the handle, then to the object mode, and I want to scale this down, but I want to scale from from uh, here. So I go to my axis tool. Axis center tool. You, if you don't have it in the toolbar, you will find it under uh, the mesh. I think yeah, mesh axis center here, and in the axis, in the x axis, we go to left auto update. Yeah, that's what I want. And now I can simply make this smaller. Ah, that looks good. Okay, and close this hole here. The, the, the dip handle. Oops. Go into edge mode. We are, have selected our edges here. And now I want to uh, make first with, with the T for scale is okay. Then then uh, control drag, control on your keyboard and drag it down. Something like here. And now M D for a close polygon, polygon hole. Okay. Ah, I have in the filter the, the end gone lines that don't need it here. So, and now we make two cuts just so K, K in R18 KK for a line cut in the older versions, just K in line mode. And I have my default is in single line, uh, and the normal default is I think. 
single line not activated but uh, and I prefer the single line here and just make a cut from here to here and here to here so now we have quads here and this is nice and subdivision surface to get this nice ending here okay our brush is done you see how fast this works okay <laughs> but now let's start with with the texturing but this is not so easy i think i've uh, I, I made a, a test uh, i don't think that i find it now but uh, yeah if I, 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 I think i showed it in the last tutorial but let's go to the do, 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 do. Yeah, the Facebook Nick Media to do just to show my test I made. Oh, come on. Yeah, here it is. This was my test, and we will see if if we can do this. I I played quite. No, a long time to, to make a texture and I want to show you the, the texture from, from from scratch so okay spoken about the texture let's make one so double click in the texture manager double click on the new material and say this is the plate texture and go to color and now we need some uh, some some distort uh, used material um, I have here in my material collection this is the wood but this is not what I, yeah, I can try it with with this but I did not use this I did use I think I used a uh, rusted metal or something else Uh, not not from here. No. Let's see in my. I can't remember what I used. <laughs> Little embarrassing. This is the sculpting thing. Textures, let's see, metal, metals. Here I have a rusty material. Yeah, this can, this I can use later for the ring. Be better prepared. Aged and stressed. Let's see what we get here. Go down to metal. Uh, yeah, I think we are, we are, here we are right. Because of course we can use metal <laughs> for wood too, so don't be shy. Something I can't remember what I used, and I deleted the uh, project file, of course. This is totally clever. I take this one, this paint texture. This is the rust texture here for the ring, I said. So. Maybe I can use this one. 
No. Let's make a new material for the plate. I did. I made a new material. Go in the color channel and I drag. You will get this. Uh, yeah, these textures. Yeah, I give these textures to you. Oh, this, this pa these are paid textures. This is a little. I will find later on. I will find some free textures and then we'll give it to you. You don't uh, you don't need the texture really because you can go to Google and make a Google search for for uh, old wood or something else. I just show you now the, the technique how to do it, so you can do it with every texture then. And if you need some maps like the uh, normal map and and uh, bump map and everything, there are free uh, programs like. What is this? A crazy bump can do these maps out of normal uh, pictures, and meanwhile, uh, Photoshop can do this too. So, so Photoshop, if you go to filter uh, 3D, and then you can make a normal map and bump map. And the bump map you often can use for uh, displacement to just um, blur it a little bit, and you can use it as displacement too. So, go to color channel take this no I don't need it in here so first put it on this yeah and it looks not correct not 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 correct let's go to the texture deck and first I go to cubic mapping looks much better and let's put our whole thing here so the ring the plate the handle let's put everything in the null so alt g and uh, we selected the null and uh, use the drop to floor plugin and it uh, drops it exactly to the floor so that the the uh, point here is on the floor and then the lowest point is on the floor directly and the next thing I want to do with the null object is to see if it's a little over, but that's okay. I take the null and the move tool, and I want to move the axis here exactly to this point here where, where, it, where it is on the ground. So I can rotate it exactly from here and then so can go down here to the ground. So this is very easy to do. Just go in the front view or in any view where you see this and uh, hit a, uh, hold L on your keyboard L and now you can move just the axis you don't move the object you just move the axis and then release the L let's go a little further so L again so just want to put it exactly on this okay now I can go up a little bit with this whole thing and now I can rotate from here that means when I go to R for rotation and rotate it from here if you see it with the hair that don't move with the with the brush sometimes it, it works when you click in, in the viewport but if it, it does doesn't go to the hair and just guides and editing reroute Okay, now of course when we render this we don't see much, this is not really, no, it looks not bad but not what I want. I want my scene rake of course, hello scene rake. And now we are totally on the floor of course because we made it. Now we can go again to the null object and rotate here again or go to the rotation of the null object here in coordinates and go down here I hold my alt key so I have very small uh, increments here without alt key I go from 3 to 2 and so you see and with the alt key I have smaller increments so okay <laughs> the crow brush so blade we don't want a chrome brush 
I go to my reflectance to the Fresnel. Oh, I need my layer here. This is my reflection layer and this is my diffuse layer. I told you the last uh, few uh, tutorials. I have my own defaults uh, almost everywhere. And uh, in my default, when I make a new material, you see nothing is selected. And in the reflectance, I have layer and diffuse. Sometimes I use the color to color something. Sometimes I use the diffuse channel here. It depends on the scene I made. So, okay, let's go to the plate. Here, in the reflectance layer, I go to the Fresnel, dielectric, and let's say something like oil. Okay, yeah, oil. Almost no thing here. Okay. The next thing I want to do here is I go to my texture tag here and go to seamless. I uh, here it change it a little bit. And this looks uh, very ugly. But we can get rid of this, I think. First is I want... I go to my plate, to the texture deck, cube. And now I have a texture deck and cube selected. I go to my texture mode. Now I see exactly the texture. So that how the texture is applied. Right click on the texture deck and first I say fit to object. Oh yes. Now you see it fits exactly from here to here and everywhere. And if you want to uh, scale or something else to this texture, uh, go in the axis mode. So click axis and T for scale now and scale it up a little bit. Something like this. See, you see now it looks much better. Okay, so and now I want displacement. Go back to my uh, and I have here bump map. Normally uh, you should uh, make the bump map a little blurred, but but I use this one. Should be okay. And subtle polygon displacement, and it will be very weird. Now. Or it does nothing because I have not <laughs> I have not activated it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. So intensity. And of course not so high. And here round. I don't like how it looks here on the front here. That does not look really nice. So I go back to my mode here, axis mode, and scale it even up here. Uh, R for rotation, sometimes this works too, let's see. I think this, work, this works better. T for scale, scale it down a little bit. Yeah, I think I leave it like this. Maybe a little higher here. Okay. This should work. 
and now let's play with the displacement and something else. So until we see displacement, we wanna see displacement. We already see it here, of course, and it did. I like this uh, old thing here. You can imagine maybe it's, it's wood, but we know it's metal, but, but we can de uh, desaturate it and, and anything, but I like this look, but we will do something with it. Okay, first I need an energy drink because it's 9, 9 p.m. here. Okay, <laughs> no user today. <laughs> Let's see a little more displacement. Yeah, that's too much. Oh, but we can try with less subdivisions. Maybe we don't get these spikes here. Yeah, but then it looks around it. And more subdivisions, less high. And back to intensity center. No, only intensity. Okay, and now we can try to put in some, maybe some dents or something else. Let's go to the texture here, right? Uh, then click, left click, not right click. And go to layer. Shader and put some noise away, oh, and let's see what we get here. Not much for the moment. Let's see, let's try it with dents. Yeah, now we see something. I just want to make it so extreme. Just the one, I want just to see if it makes something, if it does something. That's too much. Now let's this so I drag this black color on this and make here white color to invert the direction yeah that looks nice we have, we have a nice cut here with this texturing here if we have something like this here this will this will be just a still so no animation or nothing so so we can get rid of this in post work too but of course we try it first here a little bit let's see if we are lucky go to the texture deck and with the offsets let's play with sometimes you find a spot where it fits together Sometimes not. This is not like I want it. And if it's not like I want it, we play more R for rotation and try it this direction. Ah. That looks interesting. T for scale. <coughs> Sorry. So 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 I rotate this so long until we are in the first position. Oh now 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 we're talking. This is it. Now we have nice 
transition everywhere. Now we have nice uh, displacement here. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go to the color. Here make a layer two. And in the layer I'll make effect, let's see. Let's go down a little with the saturation. And now we have here an edge of the from the uh, texture, but it's oopsie back. As I said, we can get rid of this in in, in post work. So, but somehow it's not still not what I want. <coughs> yeah, now we get some cracks here. It looks nice, but it's almost too uh, destroyed. Let's go here to fifty percent. Yeah. This is, is wood, but it's a lot of old color on, on it, so... <laughs> the wood is under it. And... Yeah, we can try it with, with wood too, but let's see what we can make. I take this wood texture I found here. This is... I can recommend uh, uh, collect as many textures you can. Something went is wrong here today because uh, this year it is all textures that they are on a an, on a an server, but uh, they should work. But this is this this uh, the bridge the, the, the Adobe bridge does not really work well for me. Every time I try it, so I take this wood here. So let's go here to the bitmap. Give it this wood here. Ah, nice. Why I did it not before? And when I give it displacement. Uh, ah, here I have it. You see, this is a, a real displacement map. This is uh, a little blurred everything. Yeah, that looks good. And so, go to here now and rotate it. Oops, first in the axis mode. Hold your shift key to, to, to you can go exactly to 90 degrees. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course. <laughs> nice. So let's go back to the color and the saturation back to null. So we get a little color in it. Yeah, well. think I like this. Yeah, I take this. As, as I said, this, these edges we can do it. It's, everything is nice here, but except these edges here, this we can easily make in in uh, post work. And it would it be an animation we wouldn't go to so so close to it. This is the first point. And the second point in an anima animation, you don't see it really because uh, it, it moves. So I like the hair. It, it, it's Really, most of the time, the, the, the results in the tutorial is, uh, uh, will be better as, as, as the original as I did. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, this reason is maybe this, because uh, most of the time I do it, uh, then the second or the third time. <laughs> so it should be better then. But honestly, it makes more fun when I 
uh, did not try it before. So <laughs> and uh, as I said in the last tutorial, I think about to make a live stream. I ordered a new webcam. We will see how I do this. I must see how, how this works and everything. So, okay, now next, let's make this ring. We have already here. This this uh, texture is a simple texture too. This is just an, an texture. This I can give you. This is made up by mine. Uh, and so this is a, a simple texture, nothing more. You see, just the texture. And here, the diffusion is the same texture. So this is more than less. Un don't need it no more. But yeah. reflectance is just reflection. GGX in iron node. And here, this is really nothing happening. And, uh, and uh, normal map uh, and a displacement map. Nothing more. But you will get the project file, of course, and so you can have a look about it and put it on our ring here, on the ring thing. Yeah, I would say I can leave it like it is. Maybe more displacement. I give this ring in a, in a, I give everything here in a subdivision surface. So make, I make a new uh, null object Whoop. and put everything in. So except the hair, the plate, the ring, the handle, uh, the handle uh, without uh, the plate without subdivision surface. Oops. Don't need to uh, do everything in one subdivision surface. The handle here, so it's the plate. Look at this uh, wood texture. This is great. <laughs> As I said, this we will get rid of. Yeah, of course I could uh, try it with body paint, but honestly, uh, I'm not really good with body body paint. But, uh, and uh, it's I th it's not really a good uh, uh, unwrapping uh, uh, tool. So it's my it's just my opinion. So. Okay, and now I give everything in the subdivision surface. And now everything is affected by this subdivision surface and everything is unedited. Now we see we have much more distortions here. Okay, let's make this one, this handle here. Yeah, we could take this the same wood, but what is this? this is boring, it's the same wood. Let's see if I have, a, I think I have a texture for it in that here. Something like this here. Something like this here. Let's see. Let's try this one. Give it on the handle. But not in UV mode. Here we go to cubic. Yeah, that looks nice, but. I want to stretch it in here. Let's go right click and fit to object. Yeah, nice. But it's too too nice. So let's see if we can make some distortions here. I go to the wood. I go to the. Yeah, here we don't have uh, much subdivisions. Uh, it's not much as good, uh, so good as n uh, almost nothing. And uh, yeah, let's try this with a bump map to make some distortions in here. Let's go to my textures again, and we I have here some scratches and something else. Where are the scratches? Here are the scratches. This ones with the bump map. Oh, I have already bump map in here, but 
I can take this bump map too, this is no problem. But uh, do I need it? No, I don't need it, so I just clear it out and take this inside. And make this, let's say, 150. See it in the preview? Yep, we get some distortions here. But 150 is maybe <laughs> a little too much. Let's say 80. Okay. And. Uh, let's try if we can use this with the normal map. The normal map should look better, but it. Let's see. Go to the normal map here. I use a normalizer because I, tr I have just this black and white picture. Then the normalizer translated. So effects. Normalizer, and in the normalizer, I give in my texture here, and this works in the. Almost ne never. <laughs> I don't know what I do wrong here. No, 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 no. Ah, no. Okay, and in the diffusion channel, instead of this texture, I give this to and this shell effect, not the specular, it, it affect the reflections. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. The next thing is this hair. And this is quite easy. We need, let's, this is the handle. We need a new material. We don't use the hair material. And in this, let's see, this is. And here we <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, and here I just take reflectance in conductor with iron, I think it's the best. Down here, this is uh, rusty, so. and put it on our hair here. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, but I want now some distortions in the color here, so I go to the color channel here and make Texture and a noise. Do you see the noise in it? This is exactly what I want. But maybe a little rustic color. Rust is more than the red. But quiet. Light, so. uh, of course. Yes, I said. Yeah, that's it. We have a wonderful used wire brush i think maybe the wood is too light the to to unused we can give this wood of course 
some dirt and something else too so let's try this go to the bump map here we have a bump here okay activate it oh this is the handle the, the I'm not, I want to go to the blade, not to the handle. So, because we are here, we don't have a bump map. So, let's go to here, and I have some dirt too, somewhere. Whoops. Whoop, dirt. This is my dirty side. This is too dirty. Which one do I want here? This one, no, this one. Okay, I'm in the bump map here. Let's put in the bump map. Nope, and activate it. So otherwise, we won't see that much. We start to see some scratches here. Let's overdo it so to see if it really see something or just uh, not really. Why? 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 why. Make you a layer shader. And effect and go with the contrast and gamma. Now we see something here. Yeah, that looks it looks very used and <laughs> okay. And maybe take the same bitmap here and go like this. Nope. And I want to affect specular. And it's now darker, but that we Yeah, but I think it looks nice. The handle is here with, with this, this shines too much here. Okay, we see something. Uh, let's give this bump map now and in the bump map, yeah, this. I'll give it this one, this map here. No, we do not really see it. Here we see these nice scratches, they are, they are great. This, this is what I like. Let's see. This one now is inverted. This makes it stronger, I think. Yeah, that makes it stronger, but I don't want this bright spots here. It's definitely the normal map. I know it's better, but yeah. 
this. Okay, this is nice that I have, what is I have fingerprints at the, and something like this. Fingerprints, fingerprints, fingerprints. That looks good. Okay. And now we have our brush here. It's exactly one hour and we have a brush. Okay, and now I think about to make this wood stand or not. Uh, this should go quite fast. Let's make a wood stand and with, with the texturing is the same like here then, so. But to show how to make the wood stand, so. But this, uh, first I save this of course. If this I start a new scene. Let's make a cube. Uh, 200 by 200 or less, that's okay. We can scale it down later. Make it editable. Editable, editable. So, I'll take it here and control, drag this out exactly 200 centimeter. So hold the shift key, so we have increments. Normally it's 10, I have five. And again. Okay, then I take this and this. E, uh, the same with the control, drag down and hold the shift key. Let's see. Uh, this, no, this is too thick. Two hundred, two hundred. This is okay. Now I go back. This is too thick for me, so let's go back to the original cube. And let's see, we do it. With the 100. No, in the set. Yeah, that's the same when I do it like this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That. Okay, it's control Y, I can go back uh, normally. Not now. Okay. Then new. Uh, whoops, editable, whoop, control drag, 200, zip, zip. again, ah, that's okay, so we will do it, so this two here, control drag them down here, something like this, don't have any really, 700, okay, 700, why not, then go in the front view, T for scale, and scale it down, something like this here, okay, now I go in live selection and only select visible elements, nope, point mode, take this and this, T for scale, up it's just by eye so we have the same like, like here and here we could do it exactly if we want so let's make let's see this is an x-axis is a size of 200 yeah we know so if we give here 200 it should work and if it here 200 oh no in the x-axis so Okay, then let's go. This T for scale. 
scale them down to something like here. Okay. Nice. Then make here a cut, a plain cut. KJ in R18. Earlier versions hit K and go in plain mode. You in it locally and X set. Half years, okay. Somewhere like here. Then I go into the edge mode, select these two points, uh, these two edges, and go back to only select visible. Delete these two, and we get this. B for the bridge, and bridge it. Go to one edge and drag it to the other edge. Okay, now we have this handle here. Let's make here uh, center the axis with magic center. You will find, or you can go here to and do everything to null and ex execute the auto update, and this makes the same. But I prefer the, for just for centering the axis, I prefer the center axis here, the magic center. So. And I want the center, uh, the, the axis, here on this side. So now I need this axis tool, and in the set axis, go to the right, okay. And now I hit reset PSR. So I'm exactly at the null point here. But what I could do is go down here with the Y2, so I'm exactly on the floor. Okay, and again, reset PSR, and now I'm exactly on the floor, and in the middle here, so the middle is this side here. Okay, reset PSR, if you don't have it, you find it, uh, it shift C, and give here PSR, and you will have somewhere the reset PSI and double click it and that's it. Okay. And now, why did I do this with the, with the axis? I want to make a symmetry object. So I select my cube here, go to here, then symmetry, alt on your keyboard and whoops. And we will see nothing. And now we see something. And when I drag this cube, then now here, as you see, whoops. We have what we want. We have two of this, and of course we want them to round it up, but it won't work with the. I think it won't work with the bevel deformer. Let's see, because I think we have problems here. Yeah, this this stance. This is uh, did I did not before, so this is <laughs> my test. The bevel deformer and make it. Oops, that's too much. But we don't need a subdivision surface here. Uh, maybe yes, because I want more uh, subdivisions, of course, here for the. We need displacement here too, so. First, what I want to do is. Uh, Go make here some more subdivisions. So I go to my cube, edge mode, and UB for a ring selection. UB, and I select this and this, and now MF for edge cut. With the edge cut, I think, let's say, let's try it with five cuts. Five cuts, no end ons, and apply. Okay, looks good. Let's make one cut along here. So UB again for the ring selection. And here we need just one cut that this I can do with MM when I click M, uh, M twice. MM and I have one here. Okay, then here UB, MM for one cut. And this should be okay so far. Now let's make a cut here, maybe with the B, U, B, and here, and again, MM. 
So now we have this nice, okay. And but if we put this in the subdivision surface, this would do round. This looks <laughs> like this. Looks nice, maybe for other things, but not for this. What we need to. And now let's try the. Oh, it works. It's not nice. It's not. This looks not really nice. Let's test it with. Uh, I don't think it gets it works with solid because then we get the surrounding things. No. It works perfect. Ha! <laughs> Man, I'm a genius. Okay. <laughs> and we need a cube here. So, cube. Cube, where are you? Oh, here, here. And up here, so. Nice cube. Of course, a little longer, so. Cube, object mode, and then we have these points here to drag it up, so. Okay. And make cube fillet. Oh, it's the rounding. You can have to go down. Something like that. And we need some things here for our displacement if we displace it but we should displace it so something like this that we have everywhere the same quotes here okay that's it uh, maybe give it some more segments but it looks like this subdivision here eight eight and here go up Something like this. Okay, this is our wood stand. Put everything in the. Uh, whoops, G, Alt G. And now, uh, Control, uh, uh, yeah, Control C. Go to our other project. And Control V. The stand is a little too big, so rotate it first to 90 degrees. And no, no, it's not really too big because this such a brush isn't really big with the brush. So this is the brush. Save it. What is this here? Ah, oh, this is our brush. This is the hair. So, now it's okay. And I want to drag it up to here. But you see, the axis is now, uh, because we, we rotated this a little bit, the axis is, uh, is a little, is rotated too. But we can go here in the world mode. So, and now we are here and drag it up. So we look here. Yeah, it's size is almost okay for, for this brush. Maybe a little smaller. So go to the stand. And what I want is the, the axis here on the bottom, so the, uh, on the floor, because then I can uh, scale from the floor. And this I do. And, uh, I go in the axis mode, click on it, and uh, whoop, 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 and drag this down here but with the axis, with the y axis on all here. Then we are exactly on the floor, go out of the axis mode. And now when I hit, hit T for scale, I scale exactly from the bottom and it stays on the floor. So 
we see it still stays exactly on the floor. Rush E for the move tool. Okay. Well, no, it's a little too, too big. But I don't want to scale the brush because then I have to, to scale the, the the length of the guides. I have to do to, to type in you and everything. So let's make the brush a little higher. It doesn't matter where, and make the stand a little bigger again. A world axis. So I don't know, but I did it anyway, reroute. So now it, they updated. That's okay. Okay, and now just make some wood texture for the stand. I save this for the moment, and I take the same texture like on the on this thing here. At least I try to make to give the same texture as on the plate. Let's see if it works. So Okay, the cube. And the symmetry I don't know, let's start with the symmetry object, but uh, if I put it on the symmetry object we will have exactly the same uh, texture on both stands and this is not what I want. What I do is I go out of this. So first I go to the Barry tool and current state to object. Right click current state to object. Uh, I wanted to make a shortcut for this. Yeah, well, a lot of people ask me how I put uh, how you can put in your own plugins and everything in the toolbar. Now I can show you. I want this current state to object. I want in my toolbar. So. I hit shift F12, give in here current state to object, this is here. First I want uh, a group separator, then put it under here. I start a new group and current state to object, I just drag it in here. And I have it now. And uh, the next is uh, connect and delete, I want to connect and delete. Okay, and then don't forget to save your layout. So, customization, save layout as, and a tutorial. Yep. Okay. And now I can say this uh, just current state object. Can delete this one. Uh, I don't need this sub. Uh, let's Let's make the subdivision and uh, do the subdivision. Just hit C on the keyboard. So I have a, it's, no, it's almost too subdivided. We don't need as many. Black. Uh, if you make this, uh, make the subdivision service editable, you have to be sure uh, it takes not the subdivision in the editor, this would be okay for me, but it takes the subdivisions of the render, the render would be this. So you have to go to the render settings, uh, uh, as many subdivisions you want, and then I hit C, and now I have the subdivisions I want. So I don't need to subdivide this. And the symmetry, uh, the symmetry I need, of course, and the symmetry I make editable too, so make edit optimize. Okay. And I want them uh, one object and one object, not together. So I go to the side view or front view, whatever. And 
null for a rectangle selection. Okay, on the point mode, red and only select visible disabled. And go in the polygon mode and just select all polygons here. Then right click and I split it. Okay. And then I delete these polygons here. So sometimes you delete the whole object, but now it works. Okay. And now I, I just deleted the polygons from the from this one, so they, they are not together anymore. Yeah, but now what I want to do is I go to this one and make a magic center. Why is this? Oh, uh, the, the points are still here when I think. I'll, this is the new one. When I hide this and go in the point mode, you go to this, you see we still have the whole points of, we just deleted the polygons and not the points. For this we have to optimize here. and or right click here, optimize and get rid of these points. And now I go here and magic center, see? And here I do the same, metric center, and I have my center here, and this is what I want. Okay, now I can uh, texture it separately and have not, and don't have the same textures everywhere. Okay, so, a plate texture, I put on this and this, and you will see uh, I make both, I select both and, and my cubic mapping. Right click on it and fit the object. You see it's exactly the same texture. But now, because they are not together, I can go to this texture deck and let's say make like something like this. It looks totally different and it looks uh, so something like this. And we don't have a, re a repeating textures here somewhere. But I don't think that will look good at the moment. So here fit to object. Yeah, of course, first we have to go to cubic mapping. Fit to object that it fits already, but not nice. And this is not nice too, so let's start with the stains. Here with this is front, this is back, what a surprise. Okay, and go. I select this front and the texture deck, go into texture mode, axis tool, and T for scale and scale it up a little bit. So let's see what we get. We have no urban, uh, let's see. No, yeah, that looks nice. Uh, that's it. But you can play, of course, and more and more and more, but it doesn't look so bad. And this again, this we will, we can make in a uh, post as we'll uh, show you this. Because normally this crack here should go over the edge. And this we can, of course, paint in the post, so, so we don't have to play here with texture or with. with with body paint or something, I think it's the same. We can go over it and, and with the healing brush and that's it. It looks quite nice here. And now we have to make here something. The only I did is just make it T for scale. Ah, why, why, has, why is it here? object is here, oopsie, this is nice, oh it, it's okay, but it's not really okay because when I say fit to object it should fit to the object, if you ask me, ah this, this is because I made the offsets here of course, 
The only thing I want to do here is make it go up. Here is this. This should work. And how it, and you see, we, 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 we're lucky, we go here over the edge. Yeah, that's it. And what you can do uh, is, if you really want to make some nice close-ups, really close-ups, uh, you could put in some cracks with sculpting or something else. Or with a crack map over it or something else. With sculpting, I'll show you just very short. Go to the front one and NQ to deactivate the textures for the moment. Make this one go to sculpting. To sculpt. Give it out here. And the brush is somewhat. This is okay. This is okay. Round and subdivide it sometimes. One, two, three. Okay. It's very dense, you see. But as, as more meshes you have, as the, as more dense it is, and better the, the, the result is, of course. And now NA for hiding the mesh. And now let's say I go to my sculpting things. Uh, Shift F8 for the content browser. I go to sculpting. And here we have some cracks and something else. Cracks. Let's see. Let's take the, this one and double click it. And it's now it's selected here in the in the uh, paint tool. Let's go to the this brushes. Put it out here. And now we should be able to make a crack here. Let's go back and uh, make this. Uh, I want the settings pressure more. Let's see, two hundred. So it's deeper. But you still see it's not a nice. So let's. Back and I go to the subdivisions and subdivide it even further. One more, one level up. Now I'm level four. And this needs to some time because this is very dense. So again, double click it here. But now you see it's, it's much better. And if you render something like this, this needs longer to render too because of subdivisions. So let's wait a little, a little, let it be slow. Come on. Come on. Yeah, maybe there's a too much subdivisions. It's definitely too much subdivisions. Okay, but I can show it uh, with less subdivisions too, so why not? This is nice here, I can go down with the subdivision level. Three. And now let's see if it shows us now something. You see it, it works hard. And it doesn't show up. Why, 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 why? But you can imagine, but uh, I will erase this. Can, can, uh -huh. I go back, 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 back. So, okay. Go back with the subdivision level to two and make some knife cuts in here. So let's see, this is two, right, that is five. So you just see what I mean. And pressure of 
let's see, 100%. So I make a crack here and crack here. And if we render this now, no, come on now, what's, what's wrong? And now you see it here, this, this, this cracks, I, 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 uh, this, this cuts, I put it in. So if you really want to make close ups, so, so you can uh, make a very nice, uh, your own textures, so, so your, your own uh, structure. Like the last thing I want to show you is uh, like, let's see, the other stone here, so, oops, like this here. So you see what you will brushing, so, so brush away, so. So, whoops, 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 whoops. Make it very fast here. Okay, we don't see this side, but. Okay. Something like this, make it. Can I copy the. No, this. Can't copy this. So I have two subdivisions. So one, two. Yeah, okay. Make the same here. So. So, okay. Just very fast to show how how it works, how it could work. Oh, this is the first one. Okay, and now go back to my selection tool. And I go to, when I go to current state, it should end up faster when I go current state to object here. Okay, and delete this one. Same I do here, current state to object. Delete this one. Now it should render faster normally. Normally. You don't have to calculate so much, come on. Now it renders okay. And now we see a lot of distortions here. I let it now like this, why not? So but it looks it looks great this is it looks great okay put the cube up here no I should have done it here too <laughs> yeah I make it here too so no chance what to do edit optimize go to the subdivisions one two so go again shift f8 see maybe we find something other thing stone texture Okay, so maybe one ugly Greg no, so take this one here. Ah, the pressure is too low here. 
settings pressure to 300 brush oops uh, 500 whoopsie so okay do you see this ugly uh, uh, polygons here we could get rid of this if we make it uh, a little smoother so we can take this smoothing deformer and say stiffness yes and go up do it something like this but normally we wouldn't see this because uh, we, of the displacement so but we can let it like this so copy the smoothing deformer to this one and now okay so let's see how long this takes to render it, it does not uh, take it long to render it, it it calculates long maybe the reason is it's it's 10 pm here maybe that's the reason and the pc is tired but now it, it looks great so okay and now let's make a quick a quick 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 not a quick let's make a quick uh, compositing so go to the scene rig shift f8 again and i want to make i think i will know this what i want to do this yeah of course i what, what i used before this one and yeah this is the right one so i go to my rig hdri settings this is for lighting and here i have the same picture but this is a jpeg this is an hdr and so this is an uh, hdr and this is a jpeg this is this this is a this this is much better quality here for the, the, the jpeg uh, but not for lighting just for the background so i go to the background picture here and put in here in the background picture i put in this one and this is a spherical picture so i have to go to spherical picture turn everything off here and let's see what we get this is okay this is okay Ah, I can't see anything because I have deactivated the textures. NQ. <laughs> it looks a little better. Floor size, make it 2000. Uh, not 200, 2000. Okay. 4000. Okay. this is okay I want to rotate the picture a little bit so I just this here okay oh, I just wanted to do close here I want to make a close up So we wouldn't need a, a compositing floor, but okay. But what I need now is I can't work with the spherical picture in the background with, with this compositing floor. You see, this this does not fit. So what I need, I need to make a uh, normal background picture of it. I have to, I've done one with my picture before, but it won't fit here. So let's make a background picture. That's quite easy with, with the rig. So go here and uh, copy background. We have now the background here. Now I go to my render settings. I delete my settings here and put in the Nicomedia scenery settings. So, and here I have a setting just background. Okay, this is okay, this dimension, and now I render it. Com Control R, 
and you see 100% I have now this picture not spherical, a flat picture this is our perfect background picture this, this fits exactly for our scene here I save this as background picture as PNG let's make a 16 bit why not okay desktop brush background you see I did one before but this one won't work for this so I override it okay and now I go to my rig I can this background I can delete go to my rig to the background picture and now I use the new picture brush background okay and what I do now is go not spherically flat picture and you see on the floor now it fits exactly here and if we render this, we should get a good result. Does this render not because it's so long to calculate? Now let's see something. Ah, okay. I'm in the wrong render setting, of course. So I render with GI here. We can try that at first without GI, so you see the difference. Render. Yeah, this is the, the high, the high dense mesh, what needs a little bit. But I think it's it's nicer when we put the we do it without the uh, let it on the now let it be but something like this we can go down here with there is a very very small arrow and we can go down here with this this is the render quality maybe this helps but it has to calculate the subdivisions anyway so it doesn't matter how the render quality okay maybe the brush thing is also that uh, this this is okay that's not too dark it would be so dark if you want let's see let's go to the you know material <laughs> and go to the reflectance and make this a little brighter maybe and wait a little bit it's not much brighter but it is definitely brighter on the tops on, on the on the tips here but uh, I liked it before I liked it more I go back with this because when when it's really dark for me not too dark for me then I can I can uh, brighten it up in post too so Okay, now that this will be, I make now a, a higher quality render. So I break, a short break. Oop. So I'm back and uh, this is the render. This is a middle quality render. So you see it takes about a minute. This is without GI and this is with GI. So I like this with GI more because it looks more washed, uh, more washed out, but uh, this I can uh, these details I can get back in, in post, but uh, you see, this this scratch here it looks here much much uh, realist, much more realistic and everything. And now we see this nice uh, bump map and this this uh, everything we did here in the 
in the diffusion channel and everything this is this comes from the diffusion channel and and, and so and yeah and now i know uh i thought about it i know why we it needs so long to pre prepare we have now a very high time smash and we have uh and we have four subdivisions here in the in the we don't need them anymore normally uh, we are we need it for the brush so we can do one and this i don't know i haven't tested it but i can do one i just copy this plate so control drag it on the side say so this is the stand we need the four subdivisions for the brush yes but for not for the stands normally we have so high dense mesh so we don't need a sub polygon displacement <coughs> so it's now I go over this materials here. One, two, and the cube. Oops, and the cube. And when I make now an interactive render, let's first go to the low GI. Normally it should go faster. No? Yeah, you see now it's it's here immediately. This is because uh, we have such a height and we don't uh, this is a very high expansion and it tries even to make four subdivisions more and so this is crazy this maybe for the top one uh, no not even the top one maybe give it let's see one subdivision Okay, this is not so subdivided, so, so make here a quick. Okay, so let's see it here. If we see some difference, we have one subdivision now, and it looks totally subdivided, and totally. Two here, the height. It's more than enough. Okay. And now I make another higher render and then we go a little to Photoshop and then we have almost two hours. This looks uh, washed out here even more because I have now this, this, this quality slider down. When I go up with the quality slider. It looks of course sharper, but let's see. Okay. Uh, whoops. So I'm, I'm back in a second for you. So here now is the render. And uh, yeah, let's go to Photoshop. So I copy this one, edit copy, go to Photoshop, file, new one, from clipboard, yes, so I want 16 bit, and create, control V, and we are here. Then so I make a smart object out of it, and Control Shift A and now I go up with the clarity. You see it comes much better. And maybe here with because it's a little dark maybe we can try to go up with the plex and with the shadows. You see. Okay. Now I make another smart object. Smart object is right click and convert to smart object, or I have a shortcut for it. So make this a little bigger here. So, so then filter, nick collection, and CorelFX Pro. I think here we get a detail extractor, it's already here. Okay. 
Okay, another filter. Let's see what we can do, what we get the best, how we get the best uh, thing here. No, I don't want it, I want it without this. Normally I take this gradient, natural density, but here I want it without because it looks like here we have an, a door and it comes daylight in, so this is okay. But I activated and just override it with another filter. Let's see what we can take here. <laughs> and a skylight filter? No, we don't need it. I think we don't need any other filter here. No, maybe what I take is uh darken light and center so darken on the outside light on the inside okay that could be nice then another filter try the blue contrast Okay, then I make another smart object and go again to the camera raw filter and see if I can, uh, let's make this, this is too much I think, but I want to do something maybe, a little sharpening. Okay. Then. <laughs> yes. See if I like this. Yeah, why not? I think I have it. Maybe a little, a little vignette. So, okay. And what I want to show you is uh, what I meant with with go over the edge. If you have something like this and you want to go f far over the edge or this, this edge here, let's try to get rid of this edge here. I mean, normally if you take the spot healing brush tool, so we have to, I make a new, uh, I make a copy of this, so Control J and rasterize it. This is Control Alt Shift R, at least here by me. And the healing brush, let's go over this. You can distort it so it, it don't see it so much anymore. But this is too much. Just break the edges a little bit. This not quite nice. So can try this with the stamp tool too. So with the stamp bus, but uh, with just let's say 
thirty percent, not three, thirty. Take something from here and go over it here. So. Yeah, now you have a nice transition here. And if I want to do make this longer here, go to my smudge tool here. And let's 80 strength should, should be okay. And can make this longer here. So I'll go back and make it 100. Much tool. See, just go f further with it, and then it, it looks uh, as, as the crack goes over the edge here. So you can play with this here. With it. Let's try here with the. Yep. Okay, I think I am done. I hope you like the result. It looks really used, maybe <laughs> almost too used. I like this one here with, with the scratch here and uh, this looks great. And the brush of course looks nice too. Okay. And this would be okay here too, on the tips bri uh, brighter, because here it's, it's often used and here it's getting more rusty, it's not so used. And that's true. Okay. Uh, yes, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something or I uh, hope it was not boring. It's, it's about ooh, two, year, two hours tutorial again. Uh, why not? And yeah, next tutorial, I hope I can make soon, I think. So I, I try at least to make each weekend one tutorial. Uh, and when I find time, I'm in between, of course, too. And yeah, you will find every link you need, you will find in the description. And uh, there is a link to my Nicomedia Scenery, if you like to buy it. If there is a link for donation, if you like to donate, what I really appreciate. And... Yeah, if, if you have questions, just ask, write in the comments, write me on Facebook, write me an email, whatever you want. And if you have some suggestions or wishes for tutorials, just tell me. I will do my best. I will try to make you happy. So uh, I say bye-bye. And for me, here it's evening. It's uh, 22.32. Half past 10 p.m. Okay, so I wish you a nice day, good evening, uh, good night, good morning, whatever, and say tschüss and baba.